Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I hope you are well. I am, my shirt is not wrinkly, it just wrinkles because it's that soft, fuzzy, you know. You know what I'm saying? Kind of material. It's workout material. Not that I work out anymore, but I still like them because they're nice and soft. That's so off topic, it's not even funny. Today is my first update in Project Pan Porn. I'm excited. I, You know, it took me forever to start this and I have enjoyed it, kinda. I have had two colors that were very, were competing with one another and I struggled with them. I have some 411 on the products that I picked. So last month, let's I'm just going to grab randomly and go over them. Last month I drew my Wet n Wild hooked on vinyl palette and I drew number 3 which is inside this case, which is this dark green one. As you can tell, I have this line going. I have been using it as a eyeliner. Um, I've tr used it all over the lid as well, um, but I have decided that I really like it as an eyeliner because it's that dark, rich green. Well, I don't have it on today because I must be ready for spring because my look is kind of springy. Um, while I don't have it on today, I have made quite a bit of progress. However, I have not hit pen. So this will continue to stay with me. The next one I have is my Avon Rock and Stone. I drew this beautiful yellow gold right here in the top. It's, well, it would be like that. So, as you can see, I hit pan. This one was really, this one was really hard. I found that I liked it um, on top of the green, you know, tapped on top of the green. I used it um, quite a bit on the inner part of my you know, like my inner corner and up on the first quarter of my um, my eyelid. So I was surprised when I hit pan. I thought it would take a little longer, but I have it. So that is good. I will go over what I have rolled in in its place in just a minute. Now... My Amorous Lady Boss palette, I had two shades that were in this palette. The first one I drew was this pink shade right up here called Femme. As you can see, I do have pan on Femme. She was a pain in the tuchus. I used Femme almost in every single look. That I did, I feel like since the dawn of time, but since I started this project, I was so glad when I hit pan. And once I hit pan, it expanded. It like blew up. So yeah, that's why it is so big, but I'll take it. Then the other one I drew is this shade right down here, kind of this taupey shade called Winner. As you can see, I do not have pan. I do have a significant dip going on, but I do not have pan on it. I am liking it more and more. I struggled with this shade at the beginning but I really am starting to like this shade the more I play with it and kind of mix it with other colors to get 
a different color. So I'm really enjoying winter at the moment. I do believe that that will be gone within the next week or so. So we have one left. Oh. The last one was from my ColourPop Femrosa palette. And did I just flash you? No, because there's no mirror. I drew the shade Missy, this beautiful burgundy slash red down here. I don't know if you can see, but I have just the slightest dip going on. This puppy is packed in here tight. I am talking tight and it's very dry. So it also is a pain in the tuchus. But I had that pink and that red and they kind of clashed. Um, so Missy did not get as much use as Femme, but hopefully this month she will. It's just so tight. I don't know if it's because it's dry that, you know, it's hard to pick up product. I don't know, but it could be. Okay, so we finished off the gold from Avon's Rock and Stone and Femme from the Lady Boss palette. So that means we rolled in two. The first one that I rolled in is my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And yes, I do not have the pretty sleeve that goes on top. Um, it's in a box. I have it, but it's not. I have it, but it's not on this on this palette. So what I drew is this shade Empress. As you can tell, I have not even touched Empress. Um, beautiful orange shade, but I haven't even touched her, never swatched her, completely brand new. But I haven't used her yet. The other one I drew for Femme, um, from the Lady Boss palette is my Elf and Christian Siriano um, collab. My <laughs> shadow palette and I drew number five. And that is, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, cause this is a highlighter. So I drew this green, which I love. I have looked. This is why I bought this palette was for this green. So I was excited I drew that. I do have it on my eyes. That's why I'm feeling kind of springy today. I just think this is gorgeous. I think I will actually go through this fairly quickly because I love the eyeshadow and the shade so much. I love the finish. So let me swatch this and show you my palette until I finish one. So this is my palette for the foreseeable future. Or these are the shades that I have. These are beautiful. Beautiful color story. They go all together. And then I have this pop of spring green, which I think will go nicely with some shades from my Pam Nut palette. But that is the, those are the eyeshadows I will be working on. This orange by Colored Rain, very very creepy. So I'm excited to use these, even though this green doesn't really go with these other four. These four right here are absolutely stunning together. I can see what look I am doing first. That is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this update. I'm excited I hit pan on too. That I cannot believe, but 
I did, and we have moved on to two more. So I will definitely post pictures of um, where I'm at today so you guys can see. Um, for the most part, they were all new. The only one that I had used prior to this project starting was this pretty green, but as you can tell, there's not a lot of movement, and that's because I use my fingers usually on this, so yeah, but I'm going to enjoy all of these. That is it. I have babbled long enough. You guys take good care, be safe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.